G'day guys, Scotty here from The Hook and The Cook and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm on Charter, I'm heading over to pick up Junta. He owns uh, Ho G, a fantastic Malaysian restaurant down in Haymarket, Sydney. Definitely worth checking out, they've won a lot of awards. Now uh, the boys are uh, coming out today, um, Junta's bringing all his chefs out so that'll be a fun time and uh, hopefully we'll get a mixed bag of fish. And at the end of the day, if we're very lucky, Junta's going to knock us up a fantastic sashimi dish. So I'm looking forward to that. Now guys, if you haven't tuned into our channel before, please click the link above to subscribe and join in the fun weekly. I'm going to head over to the San Susie Wharf now and pick the boys up. Welcome boys, uh, fantastic morning. Amazing. Don't tell you got all the boys here, you want to introduce the boys? Yeah, so uh, the crew from Ho Chi Ahe Market today, we're going out fishing. I've got Jia, the uh, coffee yeah. chef. We've got Joe, that's my sous chef. We've got Wai, that's my station chef. And then we've got Joe, who's a fryer as well. Okay. And that, yeah, that's Rodan, a Just very, a very good friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got the lucky call up. That's it. <laughs> Uh, should be a good day boys, we've got the weather on our side, conditions look fantastic. Like I said, there's been some big kingfish around, so fingers crossed we can find a few of them. Um, there's been quite a few trevally around, some nice brim and flathead, um, a few big tailor. So hopefully today we'll find a few nice fish out here in Botany Bay. Mm -hmm. Sound cool. good? Sounds Let's good. get out there and see what we can find, eh? Gorgeous morning, John. Yes. Yeah, Lovely, very, eh? Very beautiful. Beautiful morning out here on Botany Bay. No, uh, no luck with the squid yet, but no. uh, at least we're getting some yellow tail. Okay, so what we're doing, we're burling fairly heavily here with pilchard. I got the boys behind me working squid jigs. We haven't done any good yet with squid jigs, so we're a good chance to catch some yellow tail. So we're over a shallow reef here in Botany Bay. 
So just chopping a little bit of pilly up. And then we've got a hand line, small sinker, and a long shank hook. Just gonna put a little bit of pill, a little bit of prawn on there, like so. Okay, and then we're just gonna throw that out. And you hang on to that. Watch it go down. Sort of when you're filling bite, when you're filling bite. Bring him up. Keep going, up over the side. Up over, lift. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic live bait. That hopefully will get us a nice kingy today. down exactly on how we're going to fish for kingfish today. We've got the 6,000 bait runner from Shimano. We've got the spooled up with 15 kilo line matched to a, a nice Taipan 701 snapper special. It's a little light for kingfish but it's great fun if you hook a fish. So what we're going to do is a little bit of slow trolling. So I've got a quite a heavy lead there down to a fairly large swivel and then I've got about a trace of about a metre and a half. Okay down to a number two circle, two-o circle. And today we're using live yellowtail. And pretty simple. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna pin them through the nose, like that. All right, on the live yellowtail. Now he's ready to go over the side. It's gone dark. It's right That's right, okay, it's still filming. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Sorry. That's all right. So we've got the uh, live yellow tail ready to go. So he's right to go over the side. And he'll just drag behind our long trace. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower it to the bottom, guys. And then the, when we motor along, that'll lift the sinker up off the bottom. And also the yellow tail will come up. And, uh, and hopefully, as we motor along, prospecting, we might find ourselves a lovely big kingfish. No, you're right. I'm just going to explain yeah. to you about the sounder. Okay. Just see if it's going to be good. <laughs> okay, what we're doing is we're just um, prospecting along the wall over here. And we're using the Laurent sounder and looking for good signs of fish. Now the kingfish will come up as nice bed, big red arcs. Right. Um, sort of down close to the bottom, or about mid-screen normally. Okay. And I've got a few little marks showing up there. That could be one there. True. Oh. So that's how they come up on the Lorance, just as a nice red arc. We're getting a bit of bait showing up along the top. So let's keep going and, uh, and see if we can find something. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Have a look on the uh, the Laurent sounder here. Okay, we've got a beautiful big ball of bait going past the screen there. And potentially, they're the sort of things you want to look for um, when you're finding predators. Now, there's a bit more bait coming along as well. I can't see any predators there at the moment or a kingfish at the moment. But when you've got good groups of bait like this, that's when you're gonna find your fish. Okay, so we'll just keep prospecting, using the sounder, and hopefully come across some uh, some kingfish. And then there's a big school of bait there now. <laughs> no, no, we can't throw a net over. <laughs> but uh, now that's a good school of bait, so definitely uh, worth prospecting around this area. So we've landed a fish with Scotty, as always, he <laughs> delivers the goods. <laughs> we don't know what it is yet, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, no, it's, well, nice fish. Yeah, Taylor. Taylor? Taylor. Yeah, nice and easy. Slowly, 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 slowly. Uh, That's Taylor. it, he's right, he's right. Just keep letting him tell him, wind the sinker right at the top. Wind the sinker right up. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. 
Lift up high. Lift the rod nice and high. Lift. Whoa, look at that, eh? Just watch his teeth, boys. Hey, that's a cracking tailor. Nice job on the live yellowtail, guys. So no kingfish, but a beautiful tailor. And we're anchored fishing for Trevally now. And uh, we've got one over here. Everyone's on your side of the Good fish. <laughs> oh, he's dragging at something wicked. You take your time, don't rush him. As long as you maintain the bend on the rod, when the, f when the fish pulls hard, you relax. When the fish relaxes a little bit, that's okay. That's all right. No, he's all right. That's all right, don't worry about it. Just play the fish, guys. That's a nice fish, man. Salmon. Very nice yeah. fish. Yeah. Salmon. Hola. Yeah. Hey, Nozzy Salmon. Hey, happy with that one? <laughs> Very happy. Oh, what a beauty. <laughs> uh, it looks like we've got a hook up on a kingfish down the back, hopefully. Just wind him up slow, that one. John's just handing the rod over. Nice and easy. I think it might be another Australian salmon, guys. Australian salmon. Kingy, but an Australian salmon, another predator that loves a, a fresh piece of squid or a live yellowtail. There we go. Can we hang on to that one, guys? Yep. Now, very important with Australian salmon, if you're going to keep them to eat, like most predators, it's important to bleed them. Now, just a simple cut through there with a knife like that and bleed them out. If you don't bleed the fish, when you run the knife through to fillet the fish, the fillet will bleed if you haven't bled the fish. So it's very important to bleed the fish as soon as you catch them. <coughs> Alright boys, let's continue on. Good job. <laughs> Alright, we've headed down to the third runway now. And uh, seeing how we do. So far we've picked up a, a nice trevally and one brim and we've got a fish on at the moment. Yeah. Jean, you can uh, you can do the honours. I will. 
well, as always. That's what I'm good for. <laughs> <laughs> They're fishing, I'm catching. That's alright, don't worry about that. Just play the fish, keep whining. Looks like another nice brim. Oh yeah! Well done, good stuff. Nice. Yes. Yes. So while sitting off the third runway here, it's taken a while, our uh, kingy rod's gone off and John's straight onto it. <laughs> It's all planned. It's all <laughs> it was all planned. You're happy? You're more happy, huh? How's he feel, John? Good? Like a kingy, I think. Yeah. Here he comes. <laughs> nice, lift him up. Keep going, keep wind up, wind up, keep winding. He's got a long trace, look, John. Keep winding. Get wide up and lift your rod nice and high for me. There's a kingy, eh? Good stuff. Get with Scotty every <laughs> single time. There's your kingy. Thank you. Nice Thanks, fish. Scotty. Now we just measured him. Just double check him. He's, I think he's going to be undersized this one. Lay him on the board there. Yep. He's got to get to the end of the board, so he's undersized. So you want to get him back in the water? Back he goes. All right, photo. Hustle. Okay. Thank you. Ready? Give it, give it up. <laughs> See ya, mate. Thanks for the fun. Off he goes. Well done, John. Hey, Thanks, nice buddy. fish, mate. Nice fish. Yeah, man. Awesome. Hey, we got one. <laughs> Very late in the season, but we got a kingy. Excellent. We see you on the squid. <laughs> Okay, John, we've had a uh, pretty good day today. Yes, we have. You enjoy the day? Yes, enjoy it. Everyone enjoy the day? Yes. Now, John's going to knock us up a, uh, a wonderful feed now of sashimi. Uh, what species of fish do you want? Um, I'm thinking of a bit of everything. So we'll go with uh, one of the breams that we caught, Yeah. one of the trevally, a bit of the uh, Australian salmon, and I'm going to do the squid. I'm just going to really, really uh, finely slice it so that it's like eating noodles. You won't even realize that it's raw squid. Oh, that sounds pretty good, eh? Everyone happy with that? Yes, yes. All right, okay. Let's get these fish out. Do you want to grab in the trevally first? Okay, and now the... Um, you want to work on that one first? Okay, uh, the tailor. Do you want the tailor? No, salmon. Uh, salmon, okay. Australian salmon. All right, excellent. And a brim? A brim and a squid, yeah. Yeah, brim. And we got lucky enough to get a, uh, a squid. We didn't catch it on the film to uh, show you guys us catching it, but we got one. The action was too intense, so the squid came up on one of our bait fishes, and Scotty just go, 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 all hands on deck. And uh, yeah, pretty much we tried to bring it in uh, as it's hooked onto the bait fish, and Scotty was just there with the nets. He got stuck on the anchor ropes, and it was chaotic, but well. We got a beautiful fresh hard, hit. Hard work squid. Yeah, lovely. Go. Okay. Now I've already uh, knocked the uh, the gut out of that and uh, and taken the head off. So you got the beautiful uh, hood to work with. Yeah. We'll do the squid first. What are we doing? We're doing the trevally first. Now do you do a lot of. Uh, 
raw fish down at your restaurant? Uh, not. We don't serve any raw fish at all. Right. Um, we do it uh, steam, fried, uh, wok fried, but because these fishes are so fresh, we would really love to taste it raw. Okay. And whereabouts in Haymarket is your restaurant? Uh, we're right across Market City. We're on Hay Street, uh, Chinatown, so you wouldn't miss us. We're the restaurant with a lot of warm murals. Okay. Quite a large restaurant? Uh, quite a large restaurant. We sit about 110, 120, depending on how we organize the seats. Okay. And uh, yeah, it gets, it gets fairly busy, so we're uh, we'll there. So that's a filet of. Uh, Trevelli. Trevelli is actually really good. So she made brim's really good as well, but I'm really, really keen to try the uh, Australian salmon. Let's get through the skills. Yeah, I probably could have scaled it for you when I was uh, killing and gutting it. Might have helped, eh? Uh, that's all right. <laughs> So a different texture with the brim. Mm -hmm. You can see already the meat's uh, nice and clear. Yeah, and that's because we've bled all the fish. Yes. Okay. Half of the Australian salmon, eh? That's what they all want to eat. I think it'll be pretty good. Yeah. I had it a long, long time ago with sashimi, and uh, and it was really nice. We were surprised how good it was out here on the bay, of course, and nice and fresh. This was caught with a squid as well, I think. Uh, yeah, I think that one did take the squid. Yeah, we got uh, a nice tailor on the on the live yellow tail. You're watching, Chef. I'm a bit nervous now. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna run the knife down. Just gonna get the meat out. That feels good. Yep. Well, Beautiful. Um, Pretty important to keep your uh, knife nice and clean too, isn't it? Yes. Mm. I know Paul the cook has told me many times the protein builds up on the knife. Mm. Is that correct? And it makes the knife blunt? It does. Yep. Ooh la la. And with your restaurant, you operate seven seven nights a week, is it? Yes, we do. Uh, Eleven in the morning to twelve midnight. Eleven in the morning to twelve midnight, you're open. Yeah. Okay. But they're delicious. Talk about thin cuts. Yeah, because it's not cooked, so we want to put it really thin, otherwise it'd be pretty chewy. Yeah, chewy. Yeah. So we're just gonna yeah. try to get it really thin and see uh, all of it, everything that I brought. And the chopsticks are in the back room. That looks pretty good, eh? Yes. Beautiful platter. Alright, so we've got some ponzu. Just send it over here. Alright, 
brush it up with ponju. Ponju. What, what is ponju? It's uh, citrus soy sauce. Citrus soy sauce. Okay. Yep. All right. And then this here is some chili oil. So we're Malaysian, but like we're just we're just like that. Chili oil. So from home, we actually got some garlic oil as well. Yep, right. garlic oil, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Some chives and spring onion to go on top. Yep. Spring onions, mm -hmm. okay. Chives. And chives, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Wasabi here. Always need the wasabi, right? Yes. But that's with this, you don't have to. It's gonna be tasty on its own. But that's just for more. You put it in so well, you put chili oil on there, plus hey, wasabi. Yeah. <laughs> that's why. Everyone's got a topic? Yes. Yep. Okay, a little bit of uh, soy sauce with the wasabi. Wasabi, lovely. Here we go, guys. Whenever Beautiful. you're ready. Let's dig in. Let's chop sticks. I want to try the squid. Scotty, you got one? Yeah, I will do. Jump in. Got more chop sticks? There yep. we go. Alright, guys. I'm really dying to taste the squid. How is it? <laughs> Alright, guys, jump in. Coming, mm. coming. How is it guys? Good. Pretty good? Awesome. Oh marvelous. Okay. Mm. Mm. They're, they're saying that because they work for me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Being nice to the boss. Well, John, fantastic day mate. Scotty. Great to, great to have you on the boat again. And uh, everyone, I think everyone enjoyed themselves and you've knocked us up a wonderful feed of sashimi. Um, I'm dying to try a bit of this squid. Yes. Look at that, I, I even know how to use chopsticks. <laughs> Oh, that squid's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Bit of the Australian salmon. Mm. That chili oil comes right through, doesn't it? It does. Really, really nice. You've done a fantastic job, mate. Thank you. Now, guys, tune in next week for another fantastic clip on The Hook and the Cook. You can subscribe to our channel. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And we'll see you guys on the water next week somewhere. Cheers. Ciao, guys. Thanks, Scotty. to give a big thank you to all our sponsors for 2019.